Welcome everybody. Today we're playing Floofy's Adventure and it's already it's already really cute. The characters are kind of giving me like a virtual pet website website ones like Neopets or Moshi Monsters, you know those kinds. I wasn't into those as much unless there was one on was it MySpace? I think it may have been MySpace where you have these little round looking animals and you just kind of, they were just kind of there. I don't think you did much with them. I need to look that in, into that, see if there's any version of that today. Um, I'll find it one day. Let's see, but we'll, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna go into normal uh, for gamers who wanna enjoy the game. For people who want to experience the game as intended and then a hard mode. Uh, we're, we're, we'll, we'll just go normal. We're normie today. I'm fine with that. <gasps> Snail. One cozy evening in the land of cute mellow, scientist Snail was busy conducting his usual experiments in his lab. Due to a miscalculation, he manages to create a new form of energy that has never encountered before. I can't believe it, I'm a genius. I know just the perfect use for this. Yes, us, this is perfect. Okay. My super strong, super cool UFO prototype could use this energy to be the fastest, most powerful spacecraft out there. But why won't this thing work? Maybe I'm not a genius after all. <gasps> oh no, the snail is sad. A scientist snail leaves his lab to go uh, for the night. The mysterious energy begins to stir. Whilst the land of cute mellow is in slumber, whilst uh, the strange energy leaks from the lab. Waves of dark mysterious energy can be seen glowing in the starry night sky. One particularly mischievous, I like that word, mischievous creature is drawn in by the spectacle. What is this feeling? Oh, Uzo? I like Uzo. This energy, I must find the source of this power. Power hungry cat, huh? Smash, Uzo crashes his way into the lab. Yes, this UFO. My, my, whoever made this has really outdone themselves. It draws me. I can't control it. This is mine now, my beautiful UFO companion. We will create chaos together. This is a great friendship story. Honestly, a uh, sitcom with uh, the mischievous cat in the UFO. The next morning, Floofy was just about to tuck into a dreamy breakfast of toast with a side of strawberry milk. Completely unaware of last night's drastic events, Floofy is startled when the front door suddenly swings open. Floofy, please help. <gasps> A bun bun is so cute. There's these gross blobby monsters all over cute mellow. And I think scientist snail might be in trouble. For once she isn't exaggerating floofy, it's bad out here. It looks like there's been a fire at the lab. Okay, we must find time. So scientist snail at once. So banging the breakfast. You know, you could take it to go. Especially the milk. It's in a nice carton with a straw in it. You could really just bring it with you. Okay, scientist now, are you okay? Oh, Floofly, thank goodness you're here. What a mess. Oh, what have I done? What happened here? I thought I was a genius. I thought what I had created was, hey, look out. <gasps> really causing havoc, huh? My creation. Sorry, excuse me. It's mine now, you silly snail. That doesn't belong to you. Give it back to the scientist snail. Why would you hurt scientist snail like this? Why would we cause all this destruction? Why would you ruin my coffee? My existence is beyond this silly, silly little land. That stupid snail has made my dreams come true. I'll spread chaos and mischief amongst all worlds. Everyone will bow to me and do my bidding. I won't let you get away with this. I won't let you get away with this. <laughs> oh, shut up, you're wasting my valuable time. Later, pests, and don't try following me. You'll only hurt yourselves more. Okay. Bye, Uzo. See you later. Sobs. He realizes he has just the thing to help solve. Fluffy is about to embark on a grand adventure. Okay. Fluffy over here. 
I have placed a UFO for you inside each of these strange portals. It's quite dangerous in there, so be careful. Make your way to stage one, Mellow Gardens to get started on your adventure. I'll do my best. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's up here. You must 100% complete stage Mellow Gardens before you. Hello, Floofy, Mellow Fairy. Have you seen these mysterious treasure chests scattered around? I think if you collect a bunch of stuff, maybe you can open them. Okay, let's jump in. So we have our own UFO. Oh, we're not the hoppity hop that we uh, would think we would be. <laughs> Enter UFO. Okay. Okay, beam and boost. Hello there, Floofy. Did you know that UFO can shoot bullets? Tilt and hold the right analog stick. Okay. Shooting can help you get past obstacles. Oh, hello. Uh, do you see this heart container here? If you get low on health, use this special beam to scoop up some hearts and heal. It can save you from some tricky situations, so... Yep. Okay. There seems to be a special coin trapped in this little room. Maybe you can look around for a way to open the door. If you find a button, shoot it and it'll come back here. Okay. Look at this. I found this button just above us. I wonder what it does. Try and shoot it with your fancy UFO. Okay, got it. And there seems to be five coins. Oh, look at this floofy. It's a map bubble. You should shoot and see what happens. Once you pop a map bubble, you can press the map button to see the layout of the whole stage. Okay. Be careful, there's danger ahead. Not all creatures are friendly like us. Some are monsters that will attack you. Don't be afraid to use UFO to defeat them. Remember, if you get low on health, come back here and view up some hearts. Oh, that's a bad thing? Oh my god, it's so cute though. Ah! How dare. Wander a scarf. Hello, Floofy. Can you hear me over the radio? It looks like you found an outfit. How fashionable. Come and see me once you clear the stage and we can try it on. Be careful. If you exit or lose the stage, you will lose your progress, including fashionable items. Over and out. Okay. Y'all know I love me some fashion. Okay, so there's different levels. Now, is that per stage or uh, a, a constant? I think there is something suspicious about this floor beneath us. Fluffy, why don't you try flying into it? I know it sounds silly, but maybe there's a secret area down there. Well, based on the map, I know there is. The enemies are so cute. I don't want to kill them. They are fun to beam up. I'm hoping the the uh, coins are in order, so it skips a spot. Cause some games don't do that, and it's v annoying to get all the collectibles. Oh, ooh. I knew I was going to quickly. Oh, you're not bad. Hello there, Floofy. Look at this mechanical sphere. It looks like it might be useful for something. Try lifting it with your beam. There was a suspicious button back up the tunnel. Maybe this will be useful. Can I get through here? I can. Okay. 
Everything is so cute about this game. Okay, so we did miss one and that confirms it. I'm assuming it's over here. Is there anything in here? Hello? Let's have some fun. If you can solve my puzzle, I will give you this silly bun drop I found. Okay. We did it. Rescue. You saved the bun drop? Well done. Come and find me in another place and maybe we can have fun again. Don't know what this bun drop does. And I don't think we have items. No, there doesn't seem to be an item menu or anything. I got lost already. Okay, I'm gonna take this. everything oh big boy and I'm assuming every level has a bun drop too we don't know what the bun drops do though Congratulations on beating the first stage. You can upgrade your UFO by speaking to Tinks at the upgrade. You can also change your outfit by speaking to Bun Bun by the mirror. Acquired outfit, goggles. Well, Floofy, if you ever get stuck, remember to try and increase the power of your UFO. Okay, let's see what Tinks is. Hello, Floofy. You can change the appearance of your UFO here, but I can only do so much for you at the moment. My sister Tinka is missing. She was last seen somewhere around Fairy Forest. If you find her, come back and we can prove your UFO even more. Okay. So I don't think I have... Well, apparently it says I have... Oh no, that's how many pages. I was like, not how many items. So we have nothing unlocked, basically. Okay. We do have some outfits, though. Hello there, Floofy. If you find any fashionable items, you can try them on here. Would you like to try out some fashionable items? Hell yeah. So it does show how many things we've got unlocked. Okay. There we go. And they actually have function. Oh, Floofy, it's you. There's some big key thing in my big coffee cup. Um, and that thing is so big I can't even reach it. Oh no, Pinky Panda, is there something I could do to help? Hmm, well, maybe if you can find a silly ladder or something, we could reach it. Just have a look out for something that, like that. Hello, have you seen that rabbit near the mirror? She keeps talking about fashionable items or something. Okay, let's do stage two. That doesn't look like a fun time. Hi Fluffy, did you know you can make your UFO go faster? I hear there was a boost button or something like that, zapping around. Wait, I didn't hear what that's... Oh, I didn't read it because I didn't think it was necessary. But it turns out it was... Never, not really. Cool. Oh, okay. Sure, we can come back later. Oh wow, that's a big boy. Okay. And the level do persist. We don't have a map. Oh, there's a map. Assuming we're gonna get to a point where the map is way more difficult. Well, I could just look here. Okay, so there's a path around. And it shows you where the hearts are. That's nice.
They, I always think they're not enemies, but then they all are. Is this a checkpoint? Oh, it's a button you have to press yourself. Interesting. I wonder if this started out as a 2D platformer. And then they were like, they added a UFO or something along those lines. And it became what it is now. Let's have some fun. Did you know you can shoot bullets through those green barriers? And bullets can bounce off those reflecting mirrors. If you can solve my puzzle, I will give you this silly bun drop. Still don't know what those do. Oh, maybe he says. Shoots through it. Damn it. Ooh. I'm always going to forget my boosts. Glad enemies don't drop anything, because you're, you're kind of far away and it would be annoying. Now what causes the boost to return? Just over time, okay. Not killing enemies or anything. I was scared of that. you could get a stronger beam because I want it to basically not ever feel like it's gonna fall off. Oh, that's not a button. Okay, never mind. It kind of looked like a button. The spikies happening. I kind of hope. I feel like a lot of games like this will turn on the aesthetic and slowly over time make everything creepier and. I hope everything stays cute. <laughs> That's my hope. I hope everything stays cute. Okay. 
have everything. We'll just leave. Okay, so I, I, I thought boost would also call, be a dodge. It is not. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm aware. Plus attack. And I don't remember if I got any more. I don't think I did. No. Okay, this is the boss. Yep, okay. Who disturbs me from my slumber? Uzo, Uzo. I must up anyone trying to get to Ozo. Uzo. Still don't know. Oh, so now our things are. Okay. There's a phase two. Oh, okay. There's a different movement. Nothing too bad. So the heart's like if they over run you they seem to still heal you even after the fact okay what's happening i don't film myself anymore i think i think you're trying to help uzo uzo has caused me to be so angry well did that Wait, here's the little things. Follow up, bup. You don't have enough cards? I can give you some. Let's play Feud. Feud! Let's play Feud. Start by selecting three cards from your storage, and then uh, these will be used for your game. The goal of the game is to capture as many of your opponent's cards as possible. You can achieve this by placing cards next to or on top of other cards. If you have a higher number stat than the battling card, you will capture it. You or your opponent can capture multiple cards each turn, so be careful. You can also see how many cards you have captured by looking at the color of the cards and by looking at the score number on the left. It's best just to give it a try and practice to see what tactics work for you. Good luck. Okay, these are all the cards I have. Luffy goes first. I just want to see what happens. Uh, rematch? I don't quite understand.
I kind of get it. I have no idea how I would explain it. Oh, I have to choose one of their cards. Okay. Is not having the best ones, the strat. Okay, I see how that worked out. Okay. We do this. I'm not really enchanted by this. <laughs> I think I'll we'll just move on. There's really no um, impact when you feel when you kill an enemy. Like oftentimes it feels like I just kill them off screen and nothing's really happening. Um, and I am playing on controller. Maybe if there was like a, a rumble or something. There's no rumble so far. It seems like a small detail, but it does give feedback pretty well. Too far out. <laughs> I'm assuming the end's right here. Oh, you. Oh, are you here to save me? Yes, I defeated the monster and that was keeping you captive. Thank you so much. You should come find me outside. See you later. Bye, girlfriend. I have more coins to get. So there was a ball that I need to find, but I couldn't find it. There was one that was trapped. Ah! You doubled! Oh, I see. Okay.
Was this something? Where have I not gone? I didn't go to the left. Those are actually really scary projectiles that they grow as they go further away. Okay, I can't have all the coins, but there's an area there that I'm missing. Oh, it must be the to get the thing, the the, the card player. Even though I don't care about the actual that card mini game. would like to save them. That's what you're supposed to do. It's like, how are you supposed to avoid that? Just avoid it. <laughs> Not hard. Okay, time to go. Pretty sure we got everything. This is all about. Did I get any new items? I got this acorn. Plus two attack. So this is this all gonna be attack and this is all gonna be a defense? Hmm. Kinda wish. Or like modifiers more than like just attack. Hey there, you're the one that saved me, right? Thank you so much. I hope my brother Tinks wasn't as useless as he always is. Science of Snail told us everything that happened and we want to help. Let's upgrade your UFO. This is attack. Defense. That's attack. Attack and defense. Hmm. Okay. Mount Avia. Oh. Now, do the creatures also upgrade? The one on the balloon is so cute.
<laughs> I try to steal his bucket. Now that's an old meme. <laughs> I haven't even found the map yet. I'm just kind of wandering on my own killing things. Incorrect shape. I know my shapes. Don't tell me I don't know my shapes. I don't know my shapes. a circle it seems like a big map and I feel like I went in the wrong direction I have no idea where I am I'm at the beginning <laughs> not where I thought I was for sure This area. Oh, I see. Let's see, I still don't have this one, so we need a, a roundy. Well, you can just take it if it's already activated. gonna need this. If you remember correctly, there was another one. Oh, were you right here this entire time? Was this not where I was before? I don't think I've been here. I don't know where I am. 
Pretty sure it's right here, yeah. Okay. Ooh, this is a lot. I'm missing anything. Oh, big floof. Big floof. Which is funny because our name is Floofy. But com compared to some of these other creatures, not as floofy as that. <laughs> Acorn soup. This is another boss, and I think this might be where uh, we're gonna call it for the day after this. Oh, what's this? Bratty Sprout. What are you doing here? Uza told us not to let anyone through. So behold, prepare, beware. My balloons of fantastic power will stop everyone. Okay, also now we have these. Hurting him. It's the balloons that we had, not him. You lose. Oh wait, I think I lost. <laughs> no. Very well, I'll be your friend. Please don't tell Uzu about this. And I'll, honestly, I'm quite scared. Okay, ow, you still hurt me after the fact. Hmm. So you defeated me, eh? Sorry I, wasn't, I was being mean, I couldn't help it. I felt like a spell was put over me. Well, now I can just enjoy and play my favorite game, Feud. Oh no, I didn't want to play Feud. Okay, let's do Feud. Um, I have a feeling that they're gonna do much better than I am. Oh yeah, they're winning.
I feel like it's whoever goes first. To be honest. Still didn't find a thing. Okay, I do think that is where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, that was cute. That was a cute thing. I was expecting just a little bit more dynamic, like the beam would... Like, if there were some add-ons to make like the beam not last as long, but cause damage. Which would make some interesting gameplay of you having to like juggle the things you're carrying, thing, uh, carrying around. Uh, but it's pretty simple. It's really cute. I really love all the artwork. They really do feel like Neopets or something of the like to, uh, you know, virtual web pets from like the mid 2000s. But yeah, uh, I am getting in there. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.